Right, who the fuck do you think you are? You know, I still can't believe I just can't believe it. What? Believe what? <laughs> that an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you has survived this long. Piece of shit! I'm gonna fucking kill you! Yeah, go ahead! Go ahead! If you want to sacrifice yourself to kill him, then by all means, do so! Like I said, I won't die. <sighs> Keep saying that, but... It's not a guarantee you know that. There's still a chance, just saying. Do not bother arguing with him. For him, the concept of losing simply does not exist. He is the ultimate affluent prodigy, after all. A boy raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny. And has lived, he has lived his life accordingly. Tests and challenges are merely ways for him to stand victorious, even if it is all a life or death situation. <laughs> is that not so, Yakuya? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> At least one of you seems to understand. Isn't it wonderful? It is because I am the same as you. Games are meant to be won. That's enough. Are you trying to suggest you're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Well, clearly you're not. Oh. Well, well, I do apologize. <laughs> anyway, let me just say this to all of you. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? No. That's a terrible way to look at it. What? It's because... This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know. To kill your own friends is... Well, he's not our friends. He doesn't consider us friends, right? Horrific. Friends? Who decided that? Huh? We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're in competition. We're enemies. But, but... But... You know... What? But what? Stop trying to force your contract tra traditions on me and just accept what I'm telling you! Um... Come on. Yes. If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. Uh, I'm... Stop fucking around! Hey, shithead! You get off on bullying people like that can't fight back. You wanna try that on me? <laughs> so you're back to pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Piece of shit! Fuck you! What? Is that all you can say? <laughs> it's unfortunate you could waste your breath on such empty gibberish. You son of a bitch! That's it, you're fucking dead! So, yeah, I'm just saying, like, Mondo, if you do this right now, this is just gonna completely fuck over his plan because we would know, because he, we would know if he's trying to go for self-defense, then, yeah. I'm, and I'm pretty sure you have the physical capabilities of doing so. But then again, at the same time, you would also die. So I don't think you're willing to cooperate for that. And I think that's gonna be like our Achilles heel when we're trying to convict against Biak. God damn it. <laughs> Hold on, just calm down. Piece of shit! I am calm! <sighs> How is this calm? <laughs> hmm. Anyway, I don't have any intentions on working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, it's a waste of time, and I hate to waste, uh, hate wasting my time. Not possible. Engaging in friendly group meals is out of the question. Someone could easily poison your food, and I'd rather not be part of the Last Supper just yet. <laughs> Shit. Quit talking like you're a fucking movie or something. Goodbye. All I'm saying is that ultimately, you are all free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. There was, wasn't anything we could do to help him keep go keep him from going. His way of thinking is just beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. But was he serious about all that? I'm pretty damn sure he is. He was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with me. Well, fuck him then. Maybe. But what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. Not only that, but if we actually have that kind of mentality, if we still continue to be friends. And someone automatically dies all of a sudden without any expectation whatsoever. We're gonna put the pinheads on. We're gonna put our brains on you because even if you may not do it, you're still fucked either way. If you didn't kill anyone, but we accuse you regardless, you're gonna die. So you lose either way, dude. Come on. This is. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't p poison our f food? Well. <laughs> That, that was what I was suggesting before, so... Kept me out of the possibility of realm. <laughs> hey, come on, you too, Toko? Anyway... Well, it's not like anyone would even... If I was gone, right? <laughs> Actually, I bet you all want me to gone. 
God, you all think I'm d disgusting with, with the way your attitude is. Fuck yes. I do. You just think you don't think that. I know some people like to play the victim, but this is just... Yeah, she's basically the Tumblr of this fucking... Personality trait. She's fucking Tumblr. You think I, I don't know? She's playing the victim and all that when all in some we're supposed to sympathize with her and all that shit. Fuck you, Toko. Fuck you. And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, to, don't, don't you? Don't call back to her. Fuck off, Makoto. Seriously, I can't relate to this character whatsoever. Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there is nothing you can do to bring her back. Ugh. That's also one downside to the games, definitely, so far, is that I can't really enjoy, like, I think there's some characters that are decent, and some characters are, okay, you're cool, but nothing that stood out to me just yet. I mean, I guess the, my favorite character out of, out of the entire roster so far is, uh, who's the white hair chick again? Keely Geely, I think, is her name? The one that knows, that's very smart, smart girl, white hair, all that shit, I think you know who she is. She's like the only logical insane one, and she's the only one that's actually willing to co not only cooperate with us, but is smart enough to... Yeah, so I think it's like out of all the characters, she's definitely the best one so far. But that's only one out of the entire 12 characters. It's 12, right? I keep forgetting. Is it 12 or... No, it's 15. Sorry. Three of us died, but eh. we weren't able to know shit about the first three. Who... Wait, hold on, hold on. It's Leon... Uh... The, uh, pop sensation, and who the fuck was the third one again? I keep forgetting. Oh, well, whatever. Everyone headed back to their rooms. So, is it nighttime? No, it's still daytime. Jeez, I'm tired already. But I don't have time to even take one day off. Let me get myself going. So, it's free time now. Huh. Well, I probably should have taken a break here instead, and I guess I could have my free time here. Alright, so it's free time. Um area. Maybe I could get into more money. If I want to play this more strategically, then hang out with Byakuya would definitely work, but at the same time, he's smart enough to know that I'm just trying to copycat his abilities because my brain is not uh, like his, how he functions, so. Uh, oh, what, what, what? Square. Alright. Uh, who should I hang out with? Celeste would be a good partner as well. See, she, because we have two opposing sides right here. Both of them are playing the game. However, one of them potentially feels like he might want to kill someone. The other one being, um, the one that kind of wants to live their life out. At least that's what we presume, I think. That's about it from what I can gather. Uh, Toko, fuck her. So, there's no way I'm ever fucking... Uh, the first one. Yaki is in the library. Is that really it? I am tempted to get one thing and she's a pool girl. I'm pretty sure she's always gonna be at the pool, so you know what? <laughs> eh, tempting, but uh, I'm gonna pass on that. Who would be an interesting character to uh, hang out with me? Can I manipulate Mondo in many ways? I mean, he's just gonna insult me and shit. And I'm pretty sure making friends with him is not gonna be a smart idea because, let's face it, he is pretty much of a dumbass and co collaborating with him might not be a good idea. Soccer, on the other hand, she would be smart, but then again, if this thing is linear as fuck, then oh my god. Uh, you could have had something very interesting in IS, but no, you decided to go the fucking stupid route. Alright, uh. So, so like, Alright, we're back here again. Celeste. She, she could be interesting. She might be a bitch. So, that's something I might not. But then again, if I want to get into Byakuya's head, then I'm gonna have to endure it, of course. Yeah, I'm. Toko is definitely out of the question. She's not smart. She has no... She definitely have no benefit whatsoever. She's like... She's impulsive. She's just a bitch. So yeah, there's no reason to collaborate with her whatsoever. I would hang out with Hifumi just because he seems like a good friend, I guess. A weird friend, but a cool friend nonetheless. 
Same thing goes for the screaming guy, I forgot what his name is, and also maybe her as well. Forgot her name. Who's in this one? Oh no, she would be awesome to hang out with as well. Okay, so I'm looking at three characters right now. In a uh, logical perspective. Four characters if I want to go the friendship route. Uh, I don't know. This is actually a really tough decision. Although, Kirigiri's benefit is that I actually want to be her friend, plus she's very beneficial for me as well, so maybe hanging out with her would be a very huge asset for me. She has a straight line as well. Alright, I'm gonna go with Kirigiri. Where is she? Oh shit, where is she again? Host Peak, second floor, class 2B. Alright, got it. Let's go there. Can I fast travel there, actually? Oh shit, come on, really? There we go. Class 2B. Assuming I could even hang out with her in the first place. I'm assuming because this is free time I could hang out with anyone, but at the same time, I might not be able to hang out with anyone. Alright, Kyoko. Whew. I have to put all my energy into washing out for myself. I don't have time to worry about anyone else. Yeah, sure, why the fuck not? <laughs> Correct. You want to spend time with me? However, but I don't have anything to say. Are you okay with that? Yeah, I'm perfectly okay with that. I mean, we could discuss like strategies on how to keep each other safe. Although at the same time, you might not trust me. Who knows? Uh, I might not be that type of person, but at the same time, I could be turning into a huge 180 degrees person. That's fine. We'll hang out. I spent some time with Kyoko in silence. Kyoko and I grew a little closer today. Uh, do I have a present? What would you like to give her? Do we even have anything? A bird seed? Would she even like that? I don't think. What would she like? I don't think she would even like any present. What is this? Rose and vegetable? There, she's definitely. Who knows? I don't have any more information on her whatsoever. Maybe she likes information. School crest. It's fair bass. <laughs> Maybe I could give her this for self-defense. That could help. Yeah, because it's definitely essential for me to keep her alive right now. If we want to collaborate. And killing her will be only a last-minute resort if she tries to kill me. Or if she kills someone and we have to convict her. No, fuck it. I'll give her the spare bat. Proof that you've cleared chapter one. Yeah, let's give that to her, I guess. Sorry, but we can't let... Sorry, but we can't let you give that to her. What? It's what we in the industry call like to call a key item. Fuck! Well, never mind. I let's not give her anything. Yes. Alright, Are you scared, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Being trapped in a place like this? Who who wouldn't be? Of course, I'm scared of being trapped in this insane school. Correct. Huh, that's good. That's good! So... Fear is proof that your imagination is still functioning. <laughs> Frankly, I feel bad for anyone who can't fear, feel fear. <sighs> Without imagination, you can never deduce which action to take next. But what about you? You seem totally calm. You don't act afraid at all. Wrong. Scared too, of course. I simply hide my emotions. There's no advantage to be gained from letting others see how you feel. You hide, huh? Correct. What I mean is, I'm not as foolishly open as you are. Ugh, I gotta work on that. Sh sorry. Listen. Also, the fear I experience is a little different from yours, I imagine. Huh? What do you mean? So... You're afraid of what you might lose, right? Correct. But I'm, afra I'm afraid of what I've already lost. Sorry, I don't understand. I know. She didn't bother answering any further. She just turned Goodbye. in. Goodbye. With that, she's gone. Well, we're still getting to know each other. Maybe we'll talk more next time. I don't think I understood her at all yet. Kyoko's report card has been updated based on your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. What can I spend those skill points on, though? Once we are all done, I head back to my room and for a little while... 
Is it still daytime or is it nighttime now? Let's see. It's still daytime. There's still plenty of time left. I can't just sit around. Alright, so I have a chance to talk to another person if I want to. Let's see. Oh shit, everyone's like scattered around. No. Kyoko. <laughs> Do you want to talk to her again? Maybe Celeste might be a good shot. Kitchen. He's still at the library. Oh my god, that nerd is still at the library? I feel sorry for him, honestly. Like, no. He needs to learn the values of F U F. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. He just needs to learn how to have a good moral friendship. And then maybe. Just maybe I can open his art and it will be all right. All right, let's hang out with Byakuya. As much as I don't want to, this could lead into some interesting results. Unless he doesn't want to socialize with me, and in which case, I guess. Fuck him, I guess. Uh, he seems to be totally focused on that book. Now's not a really good time to. God damn it! The one time I actually want to. Fuck. Alright, I guess I'm gonna go for Celeste then, I guess. She seems, uh. smart enough, right? I mean, at least she's like. She could be also a good ally for me as well. Having a normal everyday life. Where the fuck is she, though? She's still at the dormitory, I'm guessing. Next to it, at least. God, I hate how this thing doesn't allow you to, like, strafe whatsoever. It feels weird. Where the fuck are you, Celeste? Are you here? There you are. Can I hang out with you? <laughs> I've grown entirely accustomed to life here. With enough time, any place can eventually come to feel like home. Sure, why the fuck not? As for me, I truly find myself to captivate even insignificant little creatures like yourself. Okay, I spent some time with Celeste. Would you like to? Sure, I guess. What? So she she would find something fancy, right? Milk tea, bird seed. Does she like food? Does she like birds? I don't know. Like. I imagine she liked those dove creatures, but not regular ass birds, so bird food's not gonna be a good. She might like a rose, who knows? And a fucking bat, of course, is a key item apparently, so I'm not allowed to give her that. A school crest? Is that any worth it? Is, it? is that worth anything? Let's give her a rose and see what's up. Maybe. I have money to spend something, so I guess I could go to the gift shop in case I'm free. Oh, god, this is long. There we go. Dot, dot, dot. Do you understand? Do you understand the sense of gratitude I am trying to convey to you? I guess she's impressed by it. I get the impression that she liked it, and that's good. <laughs> Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Huh? What is it? <laughs> My perfect gambling strategy. Woohoo! This could help me a lot when I play blackjack and poker with the friends at the table. Is there really such a thing? Of course! It's called cheating! <laughs> mm -hmm. Of course, there he is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. You have long sleeves and you hide the cards inside. No, no. Whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. There is. Mm -hmm. The power is luck. Of course. Hey, I'm the luckiest student, right? Luck. Actually, there are two types of luck, good and bad. There is no in between. And that luck is built into every human at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Is that okay? Some call it fate. The bottom line is luck is life. Well, do you see what I'm saying? You mean that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct. You see, I was programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. This is why I have never lost. So, that's all there is to it. <laughs> you are the ultimate lucky star student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed your own luck? One day, I hope to put that to the test. I hope you are well. Mm -hmm. Well then, have a nice day. Well, that word Cel Celeste quickly disappeared. I'd say my life's been more bad luck than good lately. Gambling is probably not a great idea for me. 
But hey, I've uh, updated her report card, so that's good. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Yay. What the fuck do skill points do again? Uh, reporting waves. All right. Is it nighttime or is it still daytime so I can talk to people? No, it's nighttime, so I can't do shit right now. All right. I'm going to say the same thing over and over again. It's just getting annoying. <coughs> Don't even need to do the hey, hem. Just say it's 10 o'clock, please. You need to repeat yourself. But even though today is over, the game definitely is. How long is this going to keep going? Well, according to howlongtobeat.com... Uh, I should really save, though, actually, shouldn't I? <laughs> I haven't saved in a while. And I guess this is a good time to take a break as well. We hanged out with two people today. I think, I'd think i say that's a success so far. We'll be right back after the next episode of... Dang on Ropa. I keep saying I was about to keep saying honey pop for some stupid reason, sorry. Alright.